Hello everyone, it's the Sensuous One, and I'm here with two things today. This is going to be a two-part video. The first part of this video is going to be my car candy swap for Jessica Williams. I know she's on Facebook. Um, this is for the Crafters with Artitude Facebook um, group. And then the second part of this video is going to be for Poet Spice. She is currently having a, oh my god, what is it called? Pass the Stash Rack Challenge. So, Jessica knows that she's getting her card swap, um, her card candy swap, but she does not know that she's getting her rack. So, I am recording this video now, and I will post it once I know that she has received her package. So, let me first get into my card candy, which was kind of challenging for me because I was so bent on trying to make embellishments. Um, but I hope that she likes what I created. Um, let's see, I'll start with the first one. The first, um, car candy that I created was using this stamp set here by Fresh Squeeze Stamps. And this one's called, um, oh, Hot, Hot, Hot. So these are the stamps that I used on here. And I've created this card candy. And I use the um, papers from Louisa's shop. I think it's called Teddy with T. I'm not sure of the name, but I will link it um, in the description box below. But this is the papers that I used, and I created some really pretty cups and some sentiments for her cards. And on the back, I used um, what is it? One of the cutouts from Louisa's. Um, I'm gonna take it out real quick. On the cutouts from Louisa's page. So, and I'll show you real quick too. These little baggies that I got is from Avery. And it's from this package called Printable Bag Toppers and Bags. And I got this from Staples. And it has 40 bags and 40 toppers. So I thought that was a good deal. I think it was like. 15 bucks, I think, and you get a five dollar rebate back in the mail. But this is what I use. So, in here, I didn't have any acetate, so I used some old packaging that I had and I just cut up, um, cut it out to make a piece of acetate that would fit. So she has a piece of paper from Louisa's um, shop that I printed out. I just put that in there. She can use that on a card if she wants. And this is just a piece of green cardstock, and that has the cutout. That she can use on a card as well. I thought that was so cute. So that goes in there. And this goes back in the bag. And it fits perfectly inside there. If I can get it past the lip. So it just goes right back inside there. Down like that, and I have some toppers that I printed out. I've just printed them, I haven't put them on yet. But this is the topper, um, it's perforated here. You just fold it and you put it over top of the um, the envelope. So, I'm going to add that to the top of the bag. I didn't put it all together yet because I want to do the video first. So, that's one. And then the second one that I did for the car candy, I used this stamp set here by Inka Dinka Dooms or my Blair. But this one's called Happy Spring, Happy Spring Day. And I used this to create a, first I created a card topper, which is this one here. And I used my scallop punch to punch it out. And I just put some little birds and I, dimension, I double stamped that one and popped it up on dimensionals. So that would be a really cute um, card topper and I added some stickles to the little hummingbirds. And in here I just have some, um, what's it called, watercolor type paper on the front and the back side. So on one side I will, on the back side, I'll put in the card topper. <clears throat> just like so, it's just perfect in there. And on the front side I have this other sheet that I created for her card candy. Um, I create this little shaker here, and I use 
It's the same stamps from the stamp set, and I created that. It says, have a great day. A lot of secrets. Sequences in there, but you can see it. it says have a great day and add a little butterfly. These are the diamond dies, um, butterfly um, dies. <laughs> so I created those, and I do have some stickles on the big ones, and I put pearls in the middle of them. And just to show Jessica that these wings here, you can um, they, they're movable, so these are two, but they're just down. So if you want to put them on a project and have the wings up, you can definitely do that. Just squeeze them a little and you know, give your project some dimension or you can just lay them flat and the same thing with all of them so I'm just going to put this one back flat because it's going to go in the packaging but I hope she likes this and this one's going to go on the inside of here sorry I can't see what I'm doing So that fits inside there just like that. I'm going to seal that and put the top on it. So that's the front side and that's the back side of her card candy. Alright, so that's the card candy section. Well, part of it. Get that out of the way. Now for the Rack Your Stash Challenge. Um, I, have, I have a bunch of stuff that I need to rack, so I'm probably going to end up doing more than one rack. But for this rack, Jessica is going to get, first of all, this box. Because I have tons of these boxes. And I was going to alter it and cover it up, but I figured I'd leave it the way it is. It says Dream on it. So she can keep it the same, or she can um, recover it and do something else with it she wants. Uh, I've never used these. I have like five or six more of these. They're like the nestled boxes that go from big to small. So this is like a, a kind of medium sized one. This will fit inside my medium flat rate box, which is what I'm going to use to send Jessica's um, rack. Um, this is the top. And the side just has uh, just little handle holes here. So the first thing that I have for Jessica is this jar that I altered. I did it a while back, but it's just sitting. I have a bunch of these that I did. I thought this was really cute. Um, Added some pearls and some trim and stuff like that on there. And the bottom has my little stamp. And inside of here, there are some um, different color butterflies. If I can get one out. Like the little nylon type butterflies. Look like that. A different color one. But that's the red one. And there's some pink ones and teal and yellow. So they're all different colors in there. So inside that jar, she will get that. Put the top back on there. And of course, the top doesn't want to go on. Okay, there we go. So that is super cute. And these flowers do have stickles on them. I love the way that one came out. Really pretty. So she'll get that. I'm also going to send her a bottle of this gloss Mod Podge. I got a bunch of these from the Dollar Tree. So I figured I'd share them. I also going to send her this little bird. I have a bunch of these little birds. I found at Michael's. I were on clearance. It's really cute. There's little flowers. And she can cut this string off if she wants to use it on a project or hang it from something. I'll just leave the string so she can decide what she wants to do with it. And I'm also going to send her um, two packs of these wood curl letters. I have a bunch of these from Michael's. These have not been opened, so I have like a bunch that's already open, <laughs> and I figured I could just share some of these. So I'll send her these two packages of letters. She's also going to get this um, stencil. I had a duplicate, so I'll give her one of those. I have this Recollection Cupcake Topper, card topper. Happy Birthday Cupcake. It's a really cute cupcake. I have these two sheets of um, gem, gem stickers, I guess you can call them. They're like a goldish color and a pink color. And because I have tons of colored pencils already, I have a box of the um, Martha Stewart pencils. And then I also have the box of 132 of the Prisma colors. I figured I could part with these. <laughs> I bought these a while ago, but I never used them. They're Colocopia 
12 pencils by American Crafts. And these are new. They haven't even been sharpened. So I'm going to give these to Jessica. Hopefully she doesn't have any pencils or hopefully she can use these. Um, I'm hoping they're, they're going to a good home and they'll be well loved and used. Because <laughs> in my stash they're not being used right now. So those colored pencils. I'm also going to give her a pack of these artist trading cards. These ranger trading cards. They're black and there's 20 in the pack. I'm just going to get these epoxy stickers here. This pack of trim that came from Michaels. I have a bunch of that in my stash. And then I have some stickers over here. I have these stickers. It's Kane Company flower stickers. These color box chipboard accents. Um, this is some type of a remnant like pocket. It's like a velvet. I have like a bunch of these. I got them from Big Lots a while back. But it has adhesive on the back. And use them in like maybe junk journals or um, a mini album. And I have these little cute stickers here. They're Valentine's, but you can probably use them for something other than Valentine's. These memory, making memories, pebble stickers. Um, it's called Family, so it has different sayings on here. And these chipboard pieces from Michaels. A little bird cage and little dangles hanging from them. And little owls. These handmade sticker set. It says special moments on it. I thought that was really cute. I really like that one. That's really pretty. But I hope she likes those. I'm also going to send her a pack of these assorted size doilies. Because I have tons and tons of doilies. And I have a doily bunch, so I can part with those. And this Heidi Swap album, um, it's kind of like zigzag on the edge, and you can spray them or paint them or use inks on them. So hopefully she can use that. And then also I have this Martha Stewart paintable clings. You can put them on candles or anything. There's um, different things, and this has not been used. There's a guide, um, a thing on the inside, um, a how-to tips guide. So I'm going to send her that. And then I also had a bunch of these foam sheets that I gotten from, I got them from Dollar General. Um, so I'm going to send her some of these. These will be good when you are making your shaker cards because they're not really, really thick and it gives it just enough dimension. It's actually what I used when I created this one here. And I don't know if you can see, but it, it's not really, really thick. It's like kind of like the perfect size. But there are different colors. Um, the back side does have this sheet that comes off. It's a sticky. The backs are sticky, so you can peel that sheet off of there. So I'll send her some assorted colors of the foam. And I have a pack of these. I don't remember why or when I bought them, but they're little lipsticks, and the top comes off. They're little ink pens. <laughs> like party favors, I guess. I think I probably got it because it's pink, and I, everyone knows I love pink, so I'm going to share. That's why I have one of my pink pens. And, um, da -da -da -da. I think that was it. Yeah, that concludes my rack for Jessica. Um, all this is going to go into a medium flat rate box. And I will upload this video, we'll make this video public once she receives um, the package and her swap so I hope she likes everything that she's getting I have her beautiful card candy I think it came out really cute <laughs> so that's all for today um, like I said this is for my card candy swap for Jessica Williams on Facebook and also for Poet Spice um, on YouTube her Rack Your, Stack, uh, Rack Your Stash Challenge so I thank you all for watching Bye.